you and I are surviving the 2022 crypto bear market. And when you start digging into Cardano specifically in this bear market and comparing it to the 2018 bear market, things become powerfully clear. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. It's a Cardano video. Let me just get this off my chest as I start this. I understand that many of you are like, man, how's Dan so positive? Where's the optimism coming from? This is this is something, something's not right here. Here's where it comes from. The data. It's the fear in the bear markets. It's the opportunity in the bear markets. It's, it's the opportunity that this lesson that I've learned in life through the tough times, through the hard times, when there's, when there's brick walls in front of you, usually, usually, if you can muster up the fortitude and the perseverance to get through to the other side, something special is waiting. And my time in crypto over the years has, has proven that already. And so this is not financial advice, everybody. I'm not a financial advisor. I want to throw that out there. This is my journey in crypto and Cardano I'm extremely interested in. I'm, in, I'm extremely invested in. And so this is me tracking it. I'm tracking the data with you, with you ADA holders. And so this is some data. We're going to dig, dig into a couple of things. Number one is I opened talking about bear markets. And this is just something I think we should do is we should zoom out on these charts. We're, we're, we're in that formation of a bear market and we could go lower, right? This is when we start talking about technical analysis, we know we can go lower. We're anticipating that, but that's not for this video, the technical analysis. What this is, is on the, on the grand scheme of, in the grand scheme of things, the opportunity of where we are right now is, is becoming extremely clear. I tweeted this earlier, Cardano, and this is where it's at, everybody. Please keep this in mind. Cardano did not yet have staking, a multi-asset ledger, or smart contracts when it survived the last bear market. And now it has all of these things. It will not only survive this bear market, but it will come out more powerful than ever. And I really think that. So this is the picture. You know, we zoom out on this chart all the time and we do look at this. We look at staking coming coming into play. We look at the multi-asset ledger coming into play. We look at smart contracts and now we're tracking scalability. I, I continue to hammer it home with, with, with this story because it's foundational to what we're watching is the growth of Cardano and on this chart, the growth of Cardano ADA value. Now, what we don't always talk about is what's happening here, this part of the story. This is bear market story. This is bear market winter formation happening. This was bear market for formation bottoming happening back here. And look at this. We were in the early stage of Cardano all the way back here and just falling into a bear market with none of this happening. None of these things happening. And then we're now in a bear market. And this data gets even more exciting. Here's a CTO of IOHK. Network transaction volume presents a more mixed sentiment in 2022. This year, on-chain volume only rose for ADA, 369%. This is from the report over at Kraken. Uh, on-chain transaction volume is another proxy for network demand. Crypto assets have seen mixed demand in 2022. This year, on-chain volume only rose for ADA, 369%. And so we go over here. Here's Bitcoin. Uh, this is the adjusted transaction vo transaction volume. You can see pretty steady. Uh, you know, uh, I think it mentioned it was down a little. Bitcoin down a little, negative 15%. And then Ethereum, negative 49%, right? You can see Ethereum down. And then check the Cardano chart. Look at that. Cardano up, mind you, from March high, down a lot, but still up in the last year. And this says so much. This is another piece of data that, that we really didn't have the opportunity to intermingle with all of this, the foundation of Cardano being built. And when I'm looking at price on the long term and I'm looking at general markets, traditional markets, extremely risky right now. Everything's risky. Crypto could continue going down and it could like, what if there's another 50% drop for ADA, right? If things, do, if we don't even get a rally and things just drop and crypto is dropping another 50%, 
if that happens, I will sit here and I will continue doing these videos and I will continue, I will continue to be consistent with my belief that crypto in the long term is going to succeed. Cardano is is one of the most sound cryptos and the best investment in my opinion. I'm going to continue that consistency. And I've had an accumulation plan in place for bear markets because this is what happened in the last bear market in terms of accumulation. In the last bear market, I wasn't accumulating ADA. I mean, I don't think I have bought any ADA in the last bear market. But this one, I am positioned to accumulate more ADA. And so... What happens now when we come out of a bear market? And I don't know when that will be. That's not for this video. We can speculate in another video. But what happens now when we come out of a bear market and Cardano is positioned in such a way from a technical perspective that it is just coming together so beautifully, right? And the network is growing so nicely and it's being used and adopted across the board and it's becoming better, right? We're in the scalability phase. And then what we haven't even talked about is the Voltaire era, this era of governance. So what happens when Cardano even begins proving itself from a governance perspective? How many blockchains are doing that? A truly decentralized governance perspective. Let's not forget what's happening with Cardano Treasury. It is growing, this blue line, growing in terms of ADA. Obviously, the red USD, since price is falling, the, the worth of that ADA falling as well. But this is going to be a volatile chart in, in red. It's, it's basically a picture of this chart. This is the price chart. But look at this. Approaching a billion ADA in the treasury. The treasury will be utilized by community in a decentralized way for community to make blockchain development decisions. This is coming together. And we've been watching it come together. We've integrated it into the technical analysis. And there are so many people out there, even just big influencers and, and people, they just, they, they don't even know. They don't even have a clue what any of this is. You say Mary Hardfork, they have no idea. You say Alonzo Hardfork, they have no idea. You say we're in a scalability era, they have absolutely no idea. You say there's some there's some ridiculously cool things coming into play for for governance uh, on Cardano. They have no idea. I like that. That to me, already on the pri on the charts and in terms of market cap, Ada has so much market share. Right, it's it's a top ten coin, but it has so much market share to still catch up. And the fact that so many people are ignoring it, it it. it it allows for the opportunity to, main, to maintain itself as very unique and strong for a top 10 crypto. Uh, so these are my thoughts. Uh, I was inspired by this tweet and this data to kind of record this video because Cardano is in a position to prove itself over and over and over and over, over, and over again. I was having a text conversation with someone on the CCV team and he's basically asking me, hey, with Solana going down and things like this happening, right? And, and things that might threaten VC interest in the crypto space, isn't that setting Cardano up to be like massively attacked? And I basically said, it's already been attacked. Like that's already been happening. And Cardano has, has survived it. But not only that, the attacks and the, the way that Cardano is ignored so much is such a strong opportunity for Cardano to prove itself for what it is a decentralized, sound blockchain. And that, from my perspective, is, is what I'm looking for <laughs> in terms of being involved in, in, in a blockchain, investing in it. And that's where my head's at, everybody. That's my, that's my thought. Those are my thoughts as we go into this weekend. Let me know your thoughts below. I appreciate you coming by. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. Let's get through this bear market. And uh, enjoy your weekend. God bless.